Hey, shalom, shalom. This is Cut from the Streets, Winter Wonderland Edition. We are here to find out from the people. What do you think about Christmas and New Year? Is it something that is godly? All right, that's what we're about to find out from the people right here in Hyde Park. All right, we're going to show them, is it biblical? Is it in the word? Is Christmas or is New Year's even in winter? That's what we need to find out today. What are the people's thoughts on that? All right, so like the men have said, our main aim is to see the mindset of the people. What is their understanding of Christmas and the New Year? All right, because a lot of people, they have their own belief system about it, but there is a true understanding about Christmas and there is a true understanding about the New Year, which hopefully we're going to review to the, we're going to reveal to the people. All right. Yes, indeed. So cut from the streets. Are you in Hyde Park? Winter Wonderland edition. Cuts. Name is Sasha. What's your name? Mahmoud. Mahmoud. So Mahmoud. And Max, are we meant to celebrate Christmas? It depends, like, yeah. how you celebrate it. Because some celebrate it because of Santa. But if you're a Christian, you celebrate it because of Jesus. Okay. Yeah, like the birth of Jesus. Yeah. 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 Well, you don't celebrate it? Oh, I do. Oh, you do, yeah? Yeah. All right, how, how about you? Do you celebrate? No, I don't. Kay's going to be doing a talk here. What's your thoughts on Christmas and New Year's? Yeah, it's a really nice holiday. Mm -hmm. Nicer when we were younger. But it's getting better now that I'm figuring things out, planning things really. Like this is my first time here and it's been really nice. What are your thoughts on Christmas and New Year's? Christmas, celebration for Jesus' uh, birthday. But New Year, new things we expect always. Always we, we when the New Year come, always we got renew our mind. To get some new things, God will prepare something, we hope. Mm -hmm. How do you think? Well, growing up with my family, they taught me about, okay, it's a part of Jesus Christ. But at the same time, other religions, they don't believe in that. So growing up, for me, I believe that it's about giving and celebration with the birth of Jesus Christ. And obviously, uh, receiving gifts and spending time with the family, that's the most important thing. And, and today we're here with? Levi, Levi. Le Ooh, that's a good, you know what that name means? I don't know, I don't know. Huh? Join on to me, that's it, yeah, yeah. So it's a, it's a son of Israel, so you're, you're Christian, right? Yeah, I am, yeah, yeah, I'm Christian. Christian. Okay, so you know about um, Christmas? Of course, of course, of course. You no, know, okay, w does it have anything to do with the Bible or? Yeah, of course, like, Christmas, it happened because of Jesus and the Lord, of course, like, you know that. How? Explain. Go, go further into it. Well, I'll be real. I don't know further into it, but... Now give me the story, the story about Christmas according to the Jesus and what you said. Obviously that like the nativity, all of that stuff, you get me? Uh, the baby, yeah. you get me? If like somebody can actually like, can you tell us where Christmas came from or where, where, where's the or origin of Christmas? What will you say to them like, you know? Mm, honestly, I don't really have a good idea, but I would say what she was saying about the birth of Jesus Christ. That's what I would say, already. All right, that's... And when the tree, like, you know, they put a tree, they decorate it. Do you think that relates to Jesus Christ? No, no, that's pagan. no. That's, paganism. That's, 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 Literally paganism. That's, 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 so, you don't celebrate it, and you do celebrate it, right? So now, you celebrate Christmas. What is Christmas, and why do you celebrate it? Um... As a child, I grew up like as gifts and everything, but as you grow, you learn like the sacrifice Jesus and everything, like mm. stuff like that. And like the things that Jesus gave to us and like you celebrate his birth. Yeah. yeah. All right, interesting to hear your opinion, Mahmoud, because you don't believe in Christmas. All right, so tell me why you don't believe in Christmas, as opposed to Max, who does believe in Christmas. I just think it's fallacy to be honest. It's so you think it's Christmas is fallacy? That's what you're saying, right? Yeah, it's just all lies. Why? Why do you say that though? Um, cause um, having a relationship, um, I think um, celebration with God shouldn't be as loud like this. To be honest with you, celebration with God shouldn't be what? Shouldn't be as loud as this. To be honest with you, I think it just it just depends on the individual relationship with God. Do you understand? Yeah. I think it's uh, yeah, it's about the birth of Christ originally, but over time it's become more about giving and receiving, and that's been nice too. I know Christmas periods people 
tend to give out a lot. I've done that. I've given out to a whole lot of people, extended family, immediate family, and yeah, that's really cool. Okay, so it's about you say it's about giving, you know, being around family, being together, being around people that you're fond of, people that you enjoy your time around, right? Yeah. So when we're looking into you now. The, the meaning so Christ must so they say it's about Christ right about like you said Christ birth when he was born right so when was Christ actually born do you know yeah that's the tricky part I can't say I know because that'd be a lie because I don't know but according to um, what we've been told over time I guess 25th the most time Christ blessed so we're out here in High Park I'm Soldier Hezron and I'm with Frankie Franken Frankie Okay, cool. Franklin. So, Franklin, what's your views on Christmas and New Year? Uh, j- just an excuse to get lacking. Just an excuse to get lacking. To get what? Lacking. Lacking? What, what does that mean? Oh, drunk. Oh, to get drunk. Yeah. Watch this news flash. Do you know that doing slavery, when they say, you know, they say Merry Christmas, they are giving our ancestors as gifts. Do you know that? I don't know that. No idea, to, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. And also, do you know that? According to the Bible, the Bible actually condemned Christmas. By traditions, right? Yep. So get me Colossians 2 verse 8 first. So you've been told, ah, oh, Christ is born 25th of December, this is his birthday, we come together, have family time, all these things, right? Yeah. But we're going to see what the Bible says because that's what, that's what it's about really, right? You think the Bible would say that Christ is born on the 25th of December, right? But it doesn't say that. Yeah, it exactly, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. So. Have you got that? Colossians 2 verse 8. The book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Uh-huh. Beware lest any man spoil you spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Right, so it says beware that any man spoil you. So spoiling you is you becoming bad, right? So spoiling you through what? Philosophy and vain deceit. So would you say that them saying Christ is born on the 25th of December is a philosophy of man? Yeah, that's, that's what it would be, really, yeah. You would say that's a philosophy, right? So, and as we laughed about before, you said the Bible doesn't say it was born on the 25th of December, does it? It doesn't. It doesn't say that? No, it doesn't. Right, so it doesn't say it was born on the 25th. So that would be going into where it's saying vain deceit, right? Because that's what they've taught over time. Like we were discussing traditions and things like this. Like you said, over time we've been taught Christ is born on the 25th. We come together, we celebrate. But what we're going to show you today is the true meaning or the true, um, what do you call it, heritage of where that thing comes from, right? Because we, people believe that, oh, it comes from, you know, Christianity and things like this. But we're going to show you first that Christ wasn't actually born in December. We're going to show you when Christ was born. Luke 2, 41. Now his parents went into Jerusalem every year at the feast of passover so the it says his parents went to jerusalem every year at the feast of passover you understand so now what let me, i'm gonna ask you a question what time period was the passover passover in fact do you know about the passover yeah i know it but i don't know exact date uh, it must be every year they celebrate and Jewish people but i don't celebrate okay now the passover was actually around March, April, do you understand? Like the beginning of the actual New Year's. Do you understand? It wasn't around winter. Do you understand? So it says that his family was gathering around the Passover, read on. And when he was 12 years old. Uh So it's letting us know that Christ, at the time of Passover, Christ was actually 12 years old. Do you understand? That's when he was 12. So Christ wasn't born around the winter period. He was born actually around the Passover period. Do you understand? All right. So now, let me deal with Max for a little bit. All right, back to you, Max. You believe in the Bible, right? This is the King James Version Bible. And we're talking about Christmas, right? And you alluded to the fact that, you know, Christmas is something that you celebrate. All right? But and I think you also said you agree that it's fair for us to go into the Bible to find out the origin of, you know, um, Christ, being Christ's birth. Because people refer to Christmas as um for example, December 25th being the day that Christ was born or the dates that Christ was born in. That's what they say, right? In, in winter. No, when? no they, it's like when Santa Claus comes in your house and leaves gifts. 
Uh, when you're good or like something like that. I don't know. I don't think it's when um, Santa Claus was born. I don't. Yeah. So we're talking about Christ. Yeah. All right. So when was Christ born? Uh, twenty fifth, I think. I don't. That's what it's yeah. Yeah. Is it fair to say? Because when we read the Bible, the Bible talks about um a custom going to the custom of Christmas. A custom that people do that's got to do with perhaps the tree, you know, what goes on the tree and the meaning behind the tree, for example, all right? I want to try and deal with that aspect for now. All right, give me Jeremiah 10. So the custom that people perform during Christmas, around the December 25th time, what if I told you that that custom is actually documented in the Bible and that custom is dated back way during the time of Babylon? I'm sure you guys have heard of the Babylonian Empire, right? All right. So read me that. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. The book of Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Yea, ye, the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, mm -hmm. O house of Israel. Okay, read. Thus hear the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. So God is saying here that, you know, the people that this book was written for, they shouldn't learn the ways of the heathen. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. So don't be scared on the signs of heaven, things like, you know, the stars, the moon, and stuff like that, all right? Don't be scared of them. For the hidden are dismay at them. For the hidden, the other nations, they are scared of them when they see signs from, you know, the sun, the moon, and the stars. When there's anything um, slightly different about them, they get scared of them. For the customs of the people are vain. For the customs of the people that these people are doing, vain meaning lies. It's full of lies, read. For one cut a tree out of the forest. So these hidden, they will cut a tree out of the forest, read. The work of the ants of the workman. Because they need someone who is skilled to be able to cut that tree out of the forest, read. With the hacks. Okay. They deck it with silver and with gold. So once they cut this tree out of the forest, which is, you know, back in time past, all right, used to be um, palm tree, right? Nowadays it's evergreen tree because it's easier, all right? So they, they deck this tree that they cut out of the forest, they decorate it, deck means decorate it, with silver and with gold, you know? Silver, bowls, Gold balls hanging it on the trees. They deck it with silver and with gold. Mm -hmm. They fasten it with nails and with hammer mm -hmm. that it moved not. So now they now fasten it so that it doesn't move with nails and hammers. Read. They are upright as a palm tree, okay. but speak not. They must need be born mm -hmm. because they cannot go. Because they have to be carried, right? So now, custom that we just read right here, what custom is that? We, we just read about a tree that had been cut out of the forest, brought into an environment where they could put ornaments like uh, uh, silver balls, gold balls on it. All right, they tap it down so it doesn't move and it stands up right. Yeah, I forgot the name of it. And that what they used to do to like when they get other, like worship other things. I forgot the name for that. Uh, was it like? Christ was actually born around March, April, right? That's when he was actually born, around the Passover. As we read in Luke, it said Christ was 12 around the Passover. So that's when we know when his birthday is. Right? So get me Deuteronomy 16 and verse 1. We're going to read what this month is called. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 16 verse 1. Mm -hmm. Observe the month of Abib. It says observe the month of Abib. Now Abib means ear of corn. Meaning that's when the harvest starts. That's when the year starts. That's when the crops are ready to grow. So this is when Christ was born, because this is when the Passover is. Read on. And keep the Passover. And keep the what? The Passover. Right. So we're seeing here that a bib. Has anyone got the Zondervan? So a bib is around March, April. We're gonna get a dictionary that shows that, right? So the point I'm trying to make here is, and we pay attention as well, is that. This custom is a custom that predates the birth of Christ. We're talking about hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years before Christ that this custom was being celebrated. So it's got nothing to do with Christ. The last sentence? No, the last sentence. It fell upon the time of our March and the early April. Right, so now we see that a bib that we read about in Deuteronomy 16 verse 1 is around March early april late march early april so that just shows you that christ's birthday is not december right it's actually in march uh, late march early april so what are your thoughts on that the lie 
that you've been told, because it's clear we went through it, that Christ is actually born in late March, early April. What do you think about that? Yeah, I just wonder if it has something to do with the fact that um, calendars have changed. Ah. I don't know about that, though. I'm just saying. I'm just wondering, because I know uh, the calendar used to be probably eight months, six months or something, and then it got changed. So I know maybe it has something to do with that. Or, I don't know, at some point, a particular um, probably group of people or part of the church just decided to fix a particular date for the celebration and that was just it. The Lord said we shall have no other gods before us. So when you worship Christmas, when you celebrate Christmas, you're actually worshiping another God, the sun God Nimrod. You're not actually worshiping Christ. Do you know why you're not worshiping Christ? Because we, re we already read it. Christ wasn't born around the winter period. So it's got nothing to do about Jesus Christ. The scripture is telling us that Jesus Christ was born during spring, not winter, not dead winter. All right, give me Colossians 2 and it. It wasn't born in dead winter, like the way we are told that it was born in December 25. That's a lie. You understand, brothers and sisters? That's a lie. That's tradition of men. We shouldn't keep those things. The scripture warns us that we shouldn't follow the, their ways, all right? Now watch this read. The book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. He said, be aware, let no man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Christmas is a lie. So they, they spoil our people by them believing that Christ was born on the 25th, which is a lie, all right? After the tradition of men, after the rudiment of the world, and not after Christ. Christ himself would never keep Christmas. He never celebrated his birthday. He never celebrated the holidays that the world celebrates. He only celebrated the, world, the holiday that God ordained, like the Passover. That's the holiday that was ordained by God that we should celebrate. All right? So now that you, you people have heard this, are you guys any, have any question? Not really, but I'm kind of a bit of... I understand, but then it's also like... It's very interesting because originally, growing up, parents would tell you Jesus Christ was born on the 25th, but then finding out this is like... That's very interesting. Yeah. yeah. You have a point there because we all we were all in the, we all went through that same category, that same line. Our parents just tell us things that they were born and met other their parents doing it, then we also do it. But now is the time to repent and start keeping God's laws. You understand? Eh? So now that you know Christmas is a lie, don't do it, don't encourage it. Even coming out celebrating it, buying gift giving that's a sin. Because if you don't if you don't celebrate it, when you support it, you are, you are celebrating it. So don't support it, all right? So, so you said you said it's a pagan holiday, right? Yeah, yeah, pagan holiday. But now it's, they make it like a whole international holiday uh -huh. for like a Christian uh, Christ holiday. So it was a pagan holiday, but now they've changed it into like a Christ holiday, celebrating Christ and all these things. Yes. So we, we can celebrate the holiday and think of in the, your heart and mind Jesus celebration. Okay, let's see what the Bible says. Job 14 verse 4. Job chapter 14 verse 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? So the Bible says, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Read. Not one. Not one. Do you understand? So you can't make a pagan holiday into a blessed day. That doesn't work. A pagan holiday will always be a pagan holiday. Do you understand? You can't. Something wicked can't just all of a sudden, all of a sudden turn good. Do you understand? So that when what you said about it being a pagan holiday and now it's the day of Christmas, we celebrate Christ. No, it's always been a pagan holiday. They've only done that to bewitch you so that you don't keep God's laws anymore. So you don't have the true understanding as to when, um, what time period Christ was born and all these things. Do you understand? So now what do you think based on what we just read on Christmas, right? Is Christmas something that people should be celebrating? Uh, like I said, it depends on how you celebrate it. Based on what we just read, though, is Christmas a pagan holiday or not? Be real. You say it. Yeah. Uh, you saying yes? What do you think, Mahmoud? I don't think he can say yes. Because Mahmoud is right. Christmas is definitely a pagan holiday. It's got nothing to do with God, all right? What we should be celebrating around this time is the Feast of Dedication. Now let's go into, like you said, the calendar. So you said they've changed, they changed the calendar kind of, right? 
get me Daniel 7 verse 25. Because you're right. There's someone that did change the calendar, right? And we're going to prove that. Um, Daniel 7 verse 25. We're going to prove that, right? The calendar was changed. Now, going into New Year's, when is New Year's? Yeah, January. So you say the New Year is in January, right? So if you look at the names of the months, right? If you start at September. September is 7. But it's actually 9, right? So you know that. So when you go through them, when you go through them, so September is 7. What's the next one? It's to be 8. Yeah. November, I don't know what that means. November would be 9, right? Sorry. Yeah, November would be 9. And then December would be what? Yeah, 10. For a decade, things like that. So then, if December is 10, what would January and then February be? If December's 10, what would January be? 11? Oh, yeah. What would February be? 12. So then, what would March be? Yeah, New Year's. Ah, so is the New Year really in January? So now, the New Year, when is the New Year? 31st. 31st. So we all think it's that day, right? Okay. Let me show you something. Originally, the new year, originally, was in the springtime. Why do you think it's in the springtime? I'm not in the winter. No clue, no clue. What's the difference between what happens in the winter and the, what happens in the spring to the trees and the plants and everything? Bro, it's all like, it's all falling down because there's a new season and that. They will grow. It grows, so everything grows back. So now, when, we, when you go from March, right? So the spring starts when? In March. After February, March, right? So we count from March, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Do you know the word seven in Latin is sept, like um, sept means seven. Yeah, and in French as well, October, eight, like an octagon, eight, November, nine, no, no, in French it's nueva. Do you know about um, nuf and Spanish is nueva. Do you know about uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, nueva? And des is 10, like a, how many years is in a decade? 10, 10 years, right? And then again, you go um, February 11, I don't know, January 11, February 12. So what they've done in the days of the months, they hid the original meaning of, because in the days, of, when you say seven, when you say September, you're saying that's the seventh month. You're saying October, you're saying that's the eighth month. So when is the new year really? New year really? Yeah, when is the real new year? March, like. 10, 10 verse 22, thank you. Uh. And it was it was at Jerusalem, right, the feast of the dedication, really? and it was winter. So during the winter months, what we celebrate is feast of the dedication, not Christmas. Caught from the streets. Hey, shalom, shalom. This is caught from the streets, winter wonderland edition, right here in Hyde Park. We interviewed the people. We figured out what it is that they understood about the time period that we're in, in terms of the feast days that they're celebrating, or the holiday even. You know, Christmas and New Year, right? Okay, so the interviews that we did today, yes, you know, we asked people to show some understanding on Christmas and New Year. I don't know about you, um, Nathan, who did you interview today and what was their reaction? Yeah, so we talked to people about Christmas, New Year's, see their thoughts on, you know, where it stems from, the traditions, why they've been taught it, you know, and where it comes from, right? So we went into different scriptures, went into different books that we obviously have, the Zondervan, things like that, yeah. to show them, you know, when the start of the year really is when Christ was truly born as well. Yeah. So, you know, they were receptive, they heard it, you know, some of them, some of them didn't understand, some of them did understand, but overall, you know, the people got edified. Right. That's it, the people got edified overall. But what's important is we brought out the scriptures, right? So give me Colossians 2 and 8, all right? Let's see what the Bible says about these traditions that people believe in. And that was the essence of our interview today, of the people that we interviewed on these festivities that people are celebrating, which is of pagan nature. The book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you with philosophy and vain deceits, after the tradition of men, after the rudiment of the world, and not after Christ. Guess what? Christmas and New Year, it's got nothing to do with God. It's got nothing to do with Christ. It's all vain deceits and lies. That's what it's full of. And that's what we found out when we read the scripture to the Bible and we give that understanding, the sense to the people. All right? Cause from the streets, 
Hyde Park Winter Wonderland Edition. Cuts, cuts, cuts. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Time. Oh!